Cause he stay dropping them bangers Use that polo, don't let nobody see you, man Too much mud, sippin' on drunk to reap a name Scroll through pictures of myself, gotta face my demons, man If no one knows, come on what is up YouTube? It is Showtime and I am back with yet again another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a center build, a commonly used kind of center build that is being used in the pro-am scene um, on NBA 2K23. Now I myself am more of a stage guy. I'm trying to get kind of familiar with, uh, I'm sorry, pro-am and professional, the league professionals and all that stuff. Um, I was thinking maybe I'll even start next year. You know, I've been playing center for a while. I'm not the best. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm the greatest center out there. I like to think I'm good. I like to think I'm competitive, very competitive, sometimes too competitive. And um, the prime scene does look a lot fun, L look like a lot of fun. So I might start this year just for fun and then kind of take it serious next year. But I did do my research, um, observed the prime scene, and I think I've come up with a really good build that you guys can use for rec and prime. So any of that kind of stuff, it's a center build. Uh, before we get started, I just want to ask all of you guys, as usual, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And nonetheless, we get straight into today's video in this one of the best, probably, yeah, commonly used, one of the best center builds you guys can use um, for Rec and Prime on NBA 2K23 Next Gen. So for the position, this is a center. This build is going to play the five. Sooner or later, if it hasn't dropped by now because this is pre-recorded, um, I'll be dropping a power forward build. Um, who knows, I might even drop small forwards, shooting guards, point guards, as I get more, get more familiar with how builds work in um, Pro-Am. But this is a center build. The hand in this obviously does not matter. And with the height, this is a seven foot. So um, I was made aware recently that 2K has dropped a patch. Seven foot three centers used to be the best. I used to watch them a lot. They would mash. They were unstoppable. Seven foot three centers used to be the wave and 2K kind of dropped the patch, which is kind of messed up, seeing that people have spent a lot of money over $100 and um, Canadian way more than $100 um, trying to make a good build and then they go ahead and patch it. It's kind of crazy that they do something like that. Um, the patch has basically buffed paint defense um, astronomically. So mashing and seven foot three inside centers are a thing of the past and people have converted to seven foot centers based on what I'm hearing. I know some people use seven foot twos. I'm probably gonna drop a seven foot two center build. I just wanted to start off with a seven foot. I heard seven twos and seven foots are the best centers, the best builds to make at the five. So that's what we're going with. And then with the weight, I ended up choosing or going with 238 pounds and a max wingspan of seven foot 10. Um, with the body shape, we actually will be going built. Um, and that's how we're going to do this. Um, and then you can follow as I'm doing with the ticks. So with the close shot, I ended up going 90. You could settle with an 85, but I wanted a 90. Um, so I can, I, there's still cases I heard of people um, making smothers like inside. So I want to be able to do that. That's why I gave myself the 90. You could settle for 85 if you want, but I wanted a 90. And then with the uh, driving dunk, I put this at a 92. I think it's nice to be able to uh, drive the lane, uh, dunk, go coast to coast and do all that nice stuff. So driving dunk is very, very important. And then with the standing dunk, I only have this at an 80. Um, you're going to be able to stand and dunk regardless. You do not need a high standing dunk to do standing dunks. Um, driving dunks are much, 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 much more important. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of how I'm going about this. And then with the post control, I left that alone and we end up with 20 finishing badges. Now this is an inside build. I think that outside fives are so overrated. I don't think they're good at all. I think your five should be an inside build. That's just my personal opinion. Um, Contrary to my opinion, I'm probably still going to upload an outside build you can make for the five because I'm trying to cater to people of all play styles and um, everybody's kind of playing curves and styles. So I will be uploading that. Uh, but I do believe inside fives are better. And then the power forward should obviously be an outside uh, with the pass accuracy. I put this at a 76. I know some people prefer to have it even higher than this. I think I'm cool with break starter on gold. I think that's good enough just to have your break starter on gold. I don't feel as if I need it any higher than this. And I'm not going to be spending extra ticks on that or extra points. And then with the interior defense, I put this at an 82. Um, 82 is perfect for me. Sweet spot. Just where I'm usually putting my interior defense anyways. And though my perimeter defense, I have this maxed out because the five does have to play the corner. Usually, based on what I've analyzed, the four, the power forward is usually playing the pick and roll. And then the five is usually kind of guarding the corner. So it's nice to have some perimeter defense. Also, the interior defense is going to help with that too. Uh, from back doors and all that stuff. And then a steal so you can play that lane too. You can play in quarter lanes pretty good. And then I have my block at a 99. Um, I like anchor a hall of fame. I like having a high block. That's why I went with that and then the offensive rebound um, I made that a 99 now um, based on what I see I know that most teams um, it really depends on how your team plays um, But what usually happens is as the five um, 
I probably recommend you having the 99 offensive rebound as the five and then whoever plays your four make them have a 99 defensive so you guys can kind of combat each other and you guys can kind of counter each other's like stats and work together to make it work so as the five I prefer to have a 99 offensive rebound and then have an 84 defensive rebound and then um the four can go ahead and get the 99 defensive rebound that's how that's my thinking and based on what I've analyzed kind of on the prime scene and then with the speed um, I had that at a 73. I ended up putting my acceleration max. I put my strength to an 80. It really could be lower than an 80. It really could be. You can bring it right down to a 76. I wouldn't go any lower than 76. Um, with the vertical, I had this at 85. Gotta max that out. Vertical is very important. And then I brought the stamina to a 95. Um, so we have some extra ticks and this is where it's your choice what you wanna do with these ticks. Um, what you could do is, how I'd probably do it is, um, what you could do is like bring up this defensive rebound to 89 and then you can use the rest on your free throw just like this this might be what i do um honestly like it's up to you what you guys want to do you can use the ticks i'm trying to think where we could just give you guys some examples of places you could use it um you guys could use it in pass accuracy I don't think you get that much anyways as you guys can see you guys okay so you guys can get to 80 pass accuracy that's if that's what you guys want to do that's up to you guys let me put my night and my driving dunk back make sure everything here is the same good um your driving dunk you could get it to an 86 and get 21 finishing that's up to you guys i'm personally not gonna do that you can do your close shot you can do your post control you have options you have choices but me personally i think i prefer to have an even higher defensive rebound of 89 and then have my free throw at a 65 and this is how i'm gonna be rocking out this is how i'm gonna be using the build um and then with the takeovers uh personally i'm probably gonna end up going box out wall and then see the future i think i like double glass i think that's what i want to want to do as an inside uh make sure i have that paint locked down and taken care of with the boards and that's basically it for the build um the build name will pop up i really like this build i won't lie it took me a while it took me a while i had to realize like what stats were unimportant and you really got to know your role and your role may differ some people you still use seven foot three centers um some people use six nine power forward so it depends on your pro-am team and how they play uh, but this is the glass cleaning finisher build so the inside seven foot build that's going to be playing the five uh when you guys are playing pro i almost completely forgot to do a bad setup so i kind of did one here i'm gonna just show you guys so i went ahead and did giant slayer um as you guys know you're seven foot and some people are still rocking seven twos and seven threes so you can have that advantage over them uh slithery is a really good badge i was uh i wanted to put it on gold kind of uh, it's a great badge to get through the lane and punch it down. Limitless takeoff, definitely one of the more important badges so you guys can get those nice quick drop and far uh, far takeoff point dunk animations. You got back down punisher uh, for when you're in the paint. You know you want to back down someone and you want to score. You have that. You get posterizer, which is on silver. Uh, what I did was I cored the fast twitch and then I gave myself rise up on bronze. Uh, with the playmaking, I gave myself floor general. Um, I just had an extra badge, had to throw on something. Um, yeah, we have bailout and break starter. These are pretty much the only badges we need. And then with the defensive, uh, you guys have here the workhorse hall of fame, ch challenger, glove, interceptor, and off ball pest. Off ball pest, I just kind of threw on because I had extra points to use. Um, box out beast hoff, uh, anchor hoff. Um, brick wall on bronze and then rebound chaser half what you guys can actually do is maybe even put your oh, sorry, no, yeah let's put the brick wall on bronze take off pest and then you can like put on um <coughs> bless me you guys could take off glove i guess and then like yeah like put your chase down on silver you could do this i guess you know and that is it for the video i actually went ahead with the video and forgot to do the badge part but that is those are some badges that you guys can use uh, with this build. Once again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do leave a like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.